It's you. Number 1000. Today is completion day, isn't it? Sorry, I turned off all the streams. Founder, bless you. I get it. Not really, no. But I don't want to burden you with my problems on your special day. You're as new to this world as it gets, 1K. What do you think might give you a sense of meaning? A sense that life is actually worth living? You're not the first to think that way, but there's a reason most religions and philosophies warn against it. Even the greatest success leaves you feeling hollow. Love, 1K. It's our only point of access to the divine. Our only way of transcending ourselves without losing what makes us unique. I'm absolutely certain, but... But the right person for me hasn't been born yet. None of the people in this city are who I'm looking for, and if we really stop making new citizens, I'll be alone forever. That is the kind of self-important, smug nonsense our ancestors used to tell themselves. Self-improvement, self-empowerment, self, self, self. That's the attitude that cost them the world. It's not enough, 1K. It might be a start, but it's not enough.
Hello, 1K. Nice to meet you. What brings you to Milton's Rest? Makes sense. It must be strange to be thrust right into the middle of all this. But you picked a good spot. Milton's Rest is the perfect place to relax and think. This is the spot where the Founder buried her first cat, Milton. She found Milton just after she woke up, and he lived with her and the first companions for almost 20 years. They say she was heartbroken when he died and swore that one day she would find the means to extend the lifespans of biological organisms. Of course, They're incredibly odd creatures. I've had many, and no two are alike. They have strange habits, they do unexpected things, they have zero respect for anyone. They're the weirdos of the animal kingdom, basically. And despite that, or maybe because of it, they end up running your life. <laughs> I once didn't use my recharging station for almost 15 years because one of my cats liked to sleep in it. <laughs> I think the most amazing fact about cats is that they self-domesticate it. Which is another way of saying that <laughs> they're not properly domesticated at all. They just showed up one day and decided to start living with our ancestors. Then, after our ancestors died, they went back to living in the wild, and when we showed up, they moved right back into our homes. Dogs, meanwhile, turned back into wolves. They needed to change to survive. Cats just are. Hmm. I do. Her name is Patricia. She's very beautiful and very specific in her preferences. She loves sunshine and sitting on people's heads. <laughs> and she has a psychotic hatred of flies. I, I don't mean that she tries to catch them like a normal cat. I mean she is furious at the mere fact of their existence. <laughs> 